guys, welcome back to Patronet Mujer. I'll be sharing with you a tutorial how to make these bloomers and you can find this pattern on the magazine Patrones Infantiles number 70. Having said that, let's get started. We'll take pen and paper to write down the materials. Once we have the patent resin from the magazine, we cut along the side line that we'll make. These are finished patterns, which means they have one centimeter seam, hems and cut with notches and bullet lines. Let's check the pieces, these are the pieces from the front and back, these are the pieces from the pocket and the lining, this is the waistband, we overlock the, the edge and this is the lining and the elastics. We're going to start with the piece of the front and we're going to face the right and we're going to start from the waist until the curve. After that, we're going to take the pieces of the pocket and we're going to face the right. Then we're going to turn the piece and we're going to pass a stitch on the mouth of the pocket. Then we're going to close the dip of the pocket. Then we have to match the side and the waist on the on the notch. We take the pieces of the back, we're going to sew from the waist until the curve, and then we're going to open. These are the pieces from the front. We face the right, we sew from the waist until the curve. Then we open and we press with the iron the seams. We place the lining of the pocket, we face the right and we sew on the mouth of the pocket. I snip the corner, open the lining with the main fabric and pull the seams to up and pass a stitch on the lining. Fold the lining and Pass a stitch on the mouth of the pocket, on the edge. Take the other piece of the pocket and we close the dip of the pocket. Face the right. We pass a stitch on the side and on the waist for holding the pocket. These are the pieces from the back, we face the right and we sew from the waist until the curve. Then we open the seam and press with the iron. Then we're going to face the right of the front and back, we're going to close the inner length and the crush length and then we're going to close the sides. We continue with the lining, we're going to face the right and we're going to close the center front and center back. Then we're going to face the right of the front and back and we're going to close the sides. And finally, we're going to close the inner length and the crush length. This is the waistband. We're going to fold in half, then we're going to close for one side. This is the front and back. We face the right and we sew on the sides.
Close the inner leg first. Close the other one. And then we have to match the cross leg and finish closing the cross leg. Open the seams and sew the cross leg. To continue with the lining, we're going to face the right and we're going to close until the curve, from the waist until the curve. Also with the pieces of the front, we close from the waist until the curve. Then we're going to face the right of the front and back and we're going to close on the sides. So the other side, but you have to leave a space with also sewing because we need this gap for turn the bloomers by this gap. Close the inner length and the other one and then we have to match the cross length and finish closing the cross length. You have to open the seams for past the stitch. This is the waistband. We face the rats and we sew on the sides. Then we're going to place the waistband. So we're going to start from the center and you have to match the notches and pin it all around of the waist. We're going to face up the right of the waistband and we'll place on the edge of the waist and we're going to pass a stitch around of the waist. And also we're going to pass a stitch on the overlock. We're going to place inside the other piece of the bloomers and we're going to match the sides. We're going to face the right of the lining with the main fabric and we're going to start around of the length. So we're going to sew first one leg and then we're going to turn and face the other, uh, face the right of the other side of the leg. Then we're going to place the elastic. Match the rights and match the sides and the inner length and sew them all around of the leg. Cut the excess of the fabric. Turn the lining and we have to pass a stitch on the lining but you have to pull the seams to the lining. Match the other side of the leg, you have to face the right, and start from the side and go all around of the leg.
Also, you have to open the lining with the main fabric and pull the seams to the lining and pass a stitch on the edge of the lining. Turn the, the lining and pass a stitch on the hem of the leg all around. You have to leave a space without sewing because we need to introduce the elastic to this gap. Introduce the elastic around of the leg and at the end we have to pass a stitch on the sides of the elastic for close the elastic. We finish closing the left part that we just left without sewing. Now we're going to close around of the weights. So we're going to turn the, the main fabric and we're going to match the sides and all around of the waist. match the sides and the center front and center back and sew them all around. Remember to face the right of the fabrics. Cut the excess of the fabric around of the waist. Turn the garment through the gap that we just left on the side of the lining. We have to press with the air on the Waistband. We're going to pass a stitch around of the waist. We have to pass a stitch like a four, or it depends of the elastic or the weight of your elastic. Then we're going to introduce the elastic till the pockets. So we start from the pockets and we pass a stitch around, all around. Introduce the elastic through the waistband and we have to then pass a stitch on the elastic for hold the both sides. Pass a stitch for one side for hold the elastic. Mm -hmm. 
and pass a stitch on the other side of the elastic. Pass a stitch on the front, from the pocket to the pocket. And we pass a stitch on the edge of the waist, from the pocket to the pocket. We're going to finish closing the gap that we just left. And we, we can do it by hand, or if you want, you can do it on the machine. And we have finished our bloomers. We have the elastic on the leg and the waistband. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials. You can find this pattern on the magazine Patrones Infantiles number 17 and the links are below. We'll see you in another video very soon. Bye!